Hello, and today we are going to be performing a genetic material extraction um, for a couple different materials. We are going to start off with fish eggs. These are salmon eggs that we have procured and put inside of this plastic bag. So we have these fish eggs and we want to get the genetic material out of them. We are going to begin by adding some warm salt water. This salt water will make the genetic material less attracted to water later on in the process so that we can get the raw material. I am just going to open the bag and add, I think about that much salt water in there. Close the bag back up and start smashing up some of the eggs. So now we have crushed up the eggs about this much. Um, I'm going to just put this back where I got it from. And now we're going to add clear dish soap. This is going to help break down the cell membranes. By smashing the cells, we broke open the outer layer, but we need to get into the nucleus. So adding some dish soap will help us get and break down that as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of dish soap. Just the whole thing like this. Just gonna add the whole thing into the bag. Close that back up, and then repeat the smashing process a little bit more. You don't want it to get too sudsy, because um, we want to be able to have it workable for this next step. I have now worked the dish soap into the material. We're going to use a small beaker with cheesecloth on top to strain out any chunks. So I'm just gonna pour the genetic material on top. And we're gonna wait for it to strain through. At this point, we have about this much of the genetic material that has strained through. I'm going to remove the cheesecloth from the top of the beaker and just dispose of the chunkiness for now. Put it to the side. And this is about what we have left. It's about a brothy-like consistency, but the genetic material that is free in the solution still has some proteins stuck to it, and we do not want those. So. We're going to use a bit of meat tenderizer to break down those proteins, just about a pinch. And then I'm just going to sprinkle that in there. Take my skewer and lightly mix it up. I have lightly mixed it up and we have our genetic material in the solution, but it needs to be separated a little bit more so we can properly extract. I am going to add some ice cold isopropyl alcohol, which is just rubbing alcohol. Um, and this will allow us to see the genetic material a bit better. I'm going to take my alcohol and slowly pour it into the beaker and I should see an immediate change just because of the nature of this solution. And after waiting a few seconds, I can clearly see that the genetic material is starting to separate. I'm going to take my skewer and just begin to gently spool some on to my skewer. The genetic material has almost a 
mucus-like appearance. 